Welcome back to the grind where we make it shine. It's your boy Romanovich Auto Surgeon. We are back today with a completely different build. As you guys can see, I got some 2x4s, 2x6s laid out. As you guys can tell by the title of the video, we're going to be building a modified doghouse that will be completely insulated. That way, whenever our puppy Zeke will start growing up, getting a little bit older, we can go ahead and start training him to live in his little house. That way, it's a little bit easier for the transition from the inside of the house to out in his little crib. So let's go ahead and... Uh, start doing some plans i already got a sort of idea of what i want to do let's just go ahead and do some measurements and figure out the plan if you guys are new to the channel make sure to smash that subscribe button really really appreciate all you guys' support you guys are amazing thank you for all the motivation you guys are the only ones that are making th these videos possible thank you guys so much let's get right into it all right so this is pretty much the basic layout i want for the base of it i'm gonna have two by seven and a half standing right there on the sides and then we're gonna have a two by four that's gonna go just a hair up like this. I'm gonna do split half like that. That way we can actually put our installation for that thickness right there. And then that way we can actually put the floorboard right on top of it and it will meet the top of this. That way be nice and flush all the way around. So I just went ahead and cut this one and that one to the exact same size. That way I have one across over here same thing right over there and if you guys need me to leave some dimensions let me know down in the description i'll make a video with uh, all the autocad drawings that i did for this that will be easier for you guys to see so also i want at least a little bit of the overhang on this side from the end of this uh corner so it'll probably be like something like that so i believe we're gonna mark like two and a half inches maybe two let's see that's two inches. I could probably do four and get away with it. That way we have a little bit of extra hang. That way if we have something coming off, cause I know I have like uh, the shielding on the sides for uh, rain protection, things like that. That way uh, I don't want to make it too far out wide. That way it can still fit the dimensions that way I want. So let me go ahead and uh, mark these up and then I'll show you guys what I'm doing. All right, here we are with the sum of the measurements. So I went ahead and put these boards straight up and down, make sure they're nice and level. Marked off right here, this is four inches, right there from both sides, four inches. That is uh, with this two by four being 45 inches right there. That leaves the whole center piece right there in the middle being only 37 inches wide. I think that will be plenty of uh, space for him once he grows up. He is a pit bull, so he's going to grow pretty big. I'm kind of wanting to build for the future. So definitely, you know, once you're uh, building, you want to think of that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, mock it up a little bit. It's a little bit difficult because I don't have the actual insulation right now. So I can't exactly figure out how, how, how uh, high I need to put this up like that. You know, leaving that gap right there. See how high I need uh, for the thickness. That way... Whenever I actually put the flooring on there, it'll sit nice and flush with the floor and this uh, two by four on the end. So I'm gonna go run to the store, figure out some measurements, and then we're gonna continue. All right, so I'm gonna go guys show you guys right here or on this side, the installation that I'm gonna probably use. It is a one and a half inches thick and a four foot by eight foot sheet. So this will be perfect. This is a little bit smaller than eight, uh, four foot. And this way it's, uh, nowhere near the dimension that uh, the installation will be itself. That's perfect, we can always have extra. I need the extra because we're also gonna be doing the walls and probably the roof. And so that's gonna be perfect, probably buy uh, two or three sheets. Here in the back of the shed, I actually have some fence left over that we use to go ahead and put up all this fence. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and use that to use the for it for the flooring it is perfectly fine that has some gaps most likely i'm going to be putting a rug inside anyways this way i can use this fence and make it a little bit less heavy you know i don't want to make it too heavy that i can't move it from one place to another of course it's going to be pretty big that i can't do it one person so this is going to be perfect all right so change a little bit of plans i believe i am going to be running over here for the entrance this is going to be 30 
this will be right here 40 inches by 32 for the width i think this uh, big enough box will be just plenty for the doghouse i think that'll be very nice so i gotta go ahead and uh, move some wood to get that big guy right there because that fits the perfect dimension that i need so let's go ahead and get that down well here we go time came guess what little guy woke up now he's taking a pee pee good boy good boy zeke good job we've been building you've been sleeping you've been slacking buddy yeah it's time for you to eat isn't it good boy i think we're gonna go ahead and feed him for a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and keep building maybe keep him around but i believe i taught him how to sit so let's go ahead and show you guys that it's a pretty pretty smart little guy so we're gonna wait for a little bit maybe he can use number two i'm gonna keep moving forward all right so the inspector is here he's already going for the water let's go ahead and show you guys hopefully i'll try show you that he learned how to eat i try to do my best give him one or two at a time because he loves to just swallow all of his food so let's go ahead and try to do that for him here we go let's take the food over here here we go to him take a couple all right come here zeke sit good boy right here good job right there buddy right there good job come here zeke Sit. Come here. Zeke. Sit, boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. Want to get up? No? Going to be patient? Good boy. Yeah, you know if you sit, you're going to get some treats. Good boy. But yeah, he's eating now a little bit better, chewing his food. I don't like to just give him the whole thing, so do my best let's see come here Zeke sit good boy hey see that he's slowly learning so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this uh, eating process and get back in the grind to get his little house built all right guys so you guys can tell he is definitely trying to I put the bowl of food right there and not letting him get it until I feed him and he is doing really, really well. So this is pretty cool. So he definitely learned to uh, get the food whenever I say and wherever I just leave it there. So look at that, that is so cool. I'm so happy. He's a fast learner for sure. No, no, good boy, good boy. That's so awesome, really happy how uh, he responds such a smart little guy that is so cool all right let's continue all right guys I've been coming home from work pretty late right now so it's been really hard to film and get things done so here's a little bit what I've done already so I'm gonna give you a little rundown and hopefully you guys are enjoying this little build we got going on here we go what I've built so far I went ahead and took this big piece down as I may have said earlier a little bit in the video, I'm gonna use that as either the flooring or all the top. I might use the top, like you know how a house has shingles, one after the others for the top of the roof, or I forget what it's called, but it has like little ridges going down. That way the water can uh, run down. So I might do that for the roof. And I'm thinking of doing the same thing for the sides all the way around and for the front, just cutting out the hole. For the front for the entrance so that's going to be really nice i went ahead and mounted this a little really nice and flat both sides here and down below that way i can go ahead and run my little pieces right down here along the side of it it's going to come out really really nice and clean made the front a little bit bigger don't know yet what i want to do with the front so just mainly putting the bases down and all the all around pretty much but here, as you guys can see, I stepped down a little bit. So this from, from the top of this two by four right there, all the way down to here is only 30 inches. Uh, reason being, I did that and made this nice and level. Reason being, I wanna keep this a little bit higher and have a little slope going down. That way rain can go down. And I'm thinking of doing a removable roof or more like hinges on the other side and be able to pick up the roof. That way if I need to install, 
or put anything in here or do a little cleanup. That would be very, very easy to do. You know, it's going to be really nice and easy. That is really the comfortability that I think this is going to give me. So I'm really happy the way it's turning out at the moment. Still got to do one back piece and tomorrow I'm probably going to be going heading out to the store. That way I can get the insulation already into here, get it all cut out and start installing the outer wall. So pretty much the way it's going to be is the outer wall is going to sit right there. Nice and flush right here. Then right after it right here is going to go the actual insulation. And then right after that is going to be a wall. So going to be nice and thick, keeping the little pup. And uh, when he grows up, the big boy, much warmer than other houses out there on the market. That's why I kind of want to do a little bit on my own terms let alone have my own design, things like that. Because I know this could cost a lot of money and I have just a bunch of two by fours, four by eights, four by sixes already laying out everywhere. So this would be a really nice project if you guys have time on your own hands. And of course you gotta get, save all the extra pieces cause you have no idea if you will need anything else. So let's go ahead and keep busting this little house and uh, keep moving right here that I have a little bit of extra in the shed. As you guys can see, we put it up a little wall all the way around with this kind of flat brown, which I think I'm gonna I actually like this little wood look. So I think this would be a really nice touch to it. So let's go ahead and keep grinding. Here's a little step off, you guys can see. It is very fragile, so it does want to crack, but I reinforced it with a little bit of more of adhesive back there, so that's kind of what it's gonna look like. Small little gap, and uh, I'm gonna make sure to cover all of these holes whenever I put this cover on, on the actual uh, rear and the front, so that's gonna turn out really well. So personally, really like it. It's gonna have a nice little, you know, slope for the rain to fall off little small steps it's gonna be perfect so let's go ahead and keep going hopefully we can get this side done and the other side done for today because the sun is uh, going down real fast so let's keep moving
right, here's the product that we have completed for this side. I actually like this side a lot better due to the fact that I was able to raise for the wall all the way up to this two by four, which it does leave a little gap on the bottom, but that's no worries because I'm probably gonna put some nice uh, wrap all the way around it. Just make it nice and clean. But let me show you guys the other part. There you go, I finally flipped it back down. Apologize, the uh, air AC is working in the background, so it's a little bit loud. So here's the difference with this one. It's really nice up top. You know, I'm still gonna wrap that around, so very protected from the, all the weather type of deal. But this side, how I did it first, I measured out that only four I could fit in here just to have enough pieces. And so I started with the bottom of the two by four. So two by four that's in the inside, started from the bottom, made it flat with this. It made um, a big gap on the top. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a small switch around, do it like that one. That way, whenever I'm putting the roof on, it's gonna be nice and clean, nice and flush. I'm still gonna be doing a nice little uh, level down here. It's gonna be a nice angle. So gotta figure out how to do that. But other than that, the walls are pretty much up for the sides. It's looking really nice and clean. Love it. Gonna probably go ahead and start uh, cut two more two by fours for that uh, rear and the front over here that way I can start putting those pieces right there but I gotta cut some more up because I just ran out I only cut eight just enough for both of these two sides so wanted to see how it would look and uh, what do you guys think has a small little gap right there that's no big deal because uh, these uh, same uh, pieces are gonna sit here on the front and the back and they're going to be stepping out maybe like this far so it's going to cover up all these holes making sure that no wind or anything else is going to go ahead and get to our puppy so this is perfect i actually think this is going to be a really nice uh, layout uh, being able to put in the actual insulation right here on the inside it's going to be really nice so nice and flush against it and then we're going to go of course put the other wall type of deal there so it's gonna get a little bit thicker you know I want to keep the little puppy uh, nice and warm and uh, I talked to my older brother and he actually gave me a really really good idea and so the, what he said was whenever we actually build the roof for it you know we're gonna have that nice angle but right here we're gonna make little notches that way it has uh, airflow you can still have some air go into there and that's gonna be really uh, important so Whenever it's a really hot day, there's still ventilation going all the way around. And uh, you know, the roof is gonna be like that. It's gonna be nice and uh, uh, at an angle. And then we're gonna have like this much maybe material that's gonna overlap and go down to here. Uh, that way, you know, if big winds are coming, it's not gonna really, really mess with it. That way, you know, real good ventilation. Of course, uh, better for the wood. We're gonna probably put it up on some kind of cement or two by fours. Or, uh, four by sixes that way it's up in the air and doesn't uh, get affected by any of the weather but probably gonna be going ahead and starting cutting those sides and uh, keep moving forward so get this thing done exactly like this side turned out really well I'm really excited got a little couple things came up so won't be able to continue on this little video but i'll catch you guys next time really appreciate all you guys' support if you guys are new to this channel and randomly came across you guys like this little tutorial i got plenty other tutorials on my youtube channel check it out down in the description it's romanovich auto surgeon really appreciate you guys don't forget to subscribe peace and of course, we got Zeke over here. He's uh, just woke up, gotta have his afternoon dinner. And uh, he's gonna fill out the little house. Hopefully he likes it. Yeah, Zeke, hopefully you like it. Gonna have to get used to sleeping in it. Yeah, good boy, good boy. 
But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. We're pretty much gonna work on the, all the little things. See what we get done today. Thank you.